to introduce our second resource person, R. Vivekananda Rasa, lecturer, Department of Secondary and Tertiary Education, Faculty of Education, the Open University, Sri Lanka. So was born on 23rd November, 1989. Has completed his Bachelor's of Education in Eastern University of Sri Lanka. MPhil PhD reading in educational management in Faculty of Graduate Studies, University of Columbia. At present, he is working as lecturer in Faculty of Education, the Open University of Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka since 2016. And so has previously he worked for the English Institute of English in Vocational Training and he was the member for the English Development Utility and he has also member for the English faculty at Advanced Technological Institutions and he was the Deputy Director in Social Education Development. He is a faculty member of Flourish Gay Global Consult in Nigeria and he has many other de designations to his credit and he has received the best research award from the first best picture award from Sri Lanka in International EduxCon Award Consortium 2021 and Sir has published many research papers and publications and he was the resource person for the international and national conferences too and he is the one who has been responsible for the development of the child education of development of the students education at various levels with brief note on this may now request Vivekananda to take very over good the good session uh, good evening all of you from Sri Lanka and I hope you all are doing well and safe mm. I really thank to all for inviting me this kind of uh, conference to speak on on the topic uh, uh, related on, on management. So I think I have this is my second experience in speaking with you uh, in the conference. Last time also I had the opportunity uh, to speak on on in on, on uh, various uh, different title uh, that was successful. And again, for inviting me, I really have to thank uh, Dr. Regin Silvest. So he requested me to be a part of this conference also. So I did not uh, neglect uh, his request. So I'm very happy. And also all, all the organizers uh, and supportive organizers and the participant uh, resource person and the uh, coming up resource person to all the People, I am very thankful for inviting me. I can cover up everything that I have planned today to speak with you within maybe 30 minutes. So less than 30 minutes is enough. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Thank you. you. Okay. As, as it is getting late also, you may have some certain kind of work, other participants, others. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I don't need to tell about me. Already you have got the idea about me. So, Madam explained everything clearly about me. Okay, now on the topic uh, institutional management and the administrative uh, conference, uh, I have come up with a title. Okay, or you can tell a topic: uh, uh, school-based management amid uh, and after COVID-19 pandemic. So, what I'm going to discuss with you all today. So, sir explained everything regarding that uh, management and the administrative system and the procedures everything in the higher educational institution so we learned a lot from that so with that uh, now i have come up for explaining for give some uh, ideas and the uh, problems currently we are facing in this pandemic time uh, regarding the school management how what kind of problems that we are facing how we are facing that those challenges as educators as teachers as academics as even as students as parents importantly as parents so that's why i have selected this uh, topic 
school based management it may be uh, i don't think it's a new term for some of you and even because this term is not only with teachers or principal or other education related officials the parents also are related with this because the parents contribution is very important in school based management as we all are parents or some of them are not parents uh, so you are helping for the education of your uh, your children and uh, uh, maybe brother or sisters you should know and you should learn about that school based management and what is school based management what kind of challenges and um, uh, the problems that uh, the school school management system now currently facing right so we know that uh, every child has the right to access uh, safe and quality education so there is no any uh, contraction or any against talk uh, with this statement so however 124 million children across the world are out of school and 250 million are not learning basic skills as a result of poor quality education that is the problem now so with a, as, a, as a result of poor quality education nearly 250 million uh, students are not learning the basic skills that means they are not they are not eligible to learn to the basic skill from the education uh, that are offering to uh, that are being offered to them girls uh, and children with disabilities those from the minority groups and children living in poor and remote areas are most often denied access to education you know now we are talking we are now we are in the digital race so we are experiencing the digital race so we don't we are always we are thinking about that uh, zoom and uh, some the various digital devices in the teaching and learning process but still there are uh, students in the world there are students they don't have the access of uh, education so even they don't have access of education how they can get the access for the technological based education so that is also one kind of problem now even for example if i take my country nearly uh, we had a research last year regarding that on uh, technology access in sri lanka for the students nearly 46 percent of students are unable to access the technology based education all of them are coming from the poor areas the poor places that are far the places who which are far away from the uh, from the, the from the school and the, from the central part of sri lanka that is also one thing i have to mention then the other, another thing globally there are 150 million children living with disabilities that is another point i have to mention 150 million children with disabilities they are often uh, denied and education because they are the most vulnerable and excluded people in the communities so nearly 150 million children are not able the disabled children so apart from the children normal children there are 150 million disabled children they are also unable to uh, get the education that means maybe some countries Free education or with, even with the even the payable education also they are unable right so with these ideas with this hope that what happened in 2015 uh, United Nation uh, uh, nation the countries in uh, the United Nation all they all the countries gathered and they took a decision to set up uh, some kind of goals to be achieved in 2030 so among the goals that goal number four is sorry go, yes goal number four is uh, quality education so when we have this kind of issues in the uh, education sector so how we are going to achieve that uh, goal quality education especially i come to my point so during this pandemic time this covid pandemic time we all know that we are we are we are facing so many 
problems. We are that that very causalities. The causalities are coming one by one. So in every sector we are facing challenges. So especially I can tell that many people are dying uh, gradually, day by day. The number of people are dying. They are dying with uh, I can tell even not only Sri Lanka and India, and all over the world people are dying. So with this condition, with this kind of condition, how we are going to achieve this quality education goal in 2030? Do you know that uh, according to World Bank, recently they mentioned that the corona, that COVID-19 pandemic, uh, not it will not uh, end up uh, soon. So it will last more than five years from this year. That is the report of uh, World Bank. Even until 2027, we will face the problems. We will have that uh, 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 virus problems and people will identify gradually. We will have that issue that based on, according to the report of World Bank. So um, the, in this kind of situation, how we are going to face the challenges especially in education especially i am focusing here in the management process especially that is the school management process okay we know that uh, on march uh, 2020 the world health organization who declared that the infection caused by the coronavirus covid-19 had caused ceased to be an epidemic and had passed to the category of pandemic Hello, can you hear me? Sir, sir, ah, okay. it's very much audible. Ah, okay, okay. Right, uh, it's not an epidemic. Earlier we called it as an epidemic. Now it has uh, it has a past limitation of the epidemic. It's now, it, it is now, it, we call it now as a pandemic. So in this pandemic time, how the education sectors uh, the, the different uh, sectors in uh, the education also there are different uh, fields uh, facing the challenges when especially when I talk about when I uh, talk about that uh, management system right okay that the next point I have to mention the uh, when I talk about that impact on the uh, the COVID-19 impact on education the global impact of COVID-19 is multifaceted and is clearly manifested in almost all sectors particularly the health economic and education sectors here education is one of the sectors which highly affected and being affected up to now with that what is the current scenario of world education in what kind of situation it what kind of scenario uh, we are uh, in the education process. That is the very important question. So you know that uh, the COVID-19 pandemic is the first and foremost uh, health crisis. You know that we know we all know that we had some uh, we had uh, previously we had some uh, diseases, uh, virus diseases. For example, not in Asian countries, especially I can. Uh, not in Asian countries, even African countries, even North American countries, you know that Ebola virus that was, uh, I think it came up uh, in 2013. It lasted uh, until 2013 to 2016. And that swine uh, flu also in North American countries that was in 2009 like. So we had some uh, that uh, uh, virus diseases. Uh, the, some virus problems that uh, I mean that diseases but we did not have this kind of problems that we are facing now in the different sectors but the corona is the COVID-19 is the first and foremost health crisis that's why we call it as pandemic so many countries have uh, rightly affected in various ways among them education is highly affected field around the globe I as I already mentioned schools, colleges, and universities, and other educational institutions are kept closed in many countries, still kept closed, not open, right. 
the COVID-19 pandemic has uh, created the largest disruption of education system in human history, affecting nearly 100 and uh, 1.6 billion learners. So around the globe, nearly 1.6 billion, billion, not million, billion learners in more than 200 countries, closes of schools, institutions, and other learning spaces have uh, impacted more than 94% of the world student population. Nearly 94% of the population, uh, from the population, students' population, so have uh, have been affected by this COVID uh, crisis. So, further, if I tell that uh, the World Bank estimates that global school closures could result in a loss of at least uh, 10, 10 US dollars. Trillion, 10 US dollars, trillion in lifetime earnings for this generation. Right, this is one uh, kind of big issue. Then, if I move to the next point, early evidence from the school closure already suggests an increase in early marriage and sexual violence in some countries, whereas other report increased involvement of children in household. Uh, Horace. This is uh, this is I was taken from a, a, a study. So you know that as all the schools are closed and uh, students are uh, learning via online and with the uh, e-learning method. So there are some abuses. Uh, ch children are affecting in so many ways. The child abuse is the uh, main issue. You no, know, even uh, children are abused by even by parents, even by some teachers and you know and also i can mention that even that um, online hackers you know the internet hackers that is a cyber crime cyber crime problems that is the one one of the issue you now the people uh, the students are facing so there this kind of issues also are you now the children are facing at the moment uh, in this world with, in this with the uh, because of this covid uh, pandemic so if I move, if I mention some other points uh, that uh, when I talk about that uh, current scenario of the education, uh, according to UNICEF report, August 2020, some 23.8 million additional children, uh, any youth from uh, pre, uh, that youth mean the pre-primary to tertiary, may drop out or not have access to school. Next year, due to the pandemic, economic is impact a lot. You see nearly 23.8 million additional children. Already the dropout is a problem that uh, the world is facing now. The, all the schools and the educational sectors are facing the problems of the dropout. Now, with that problem, because of this pandemic, nearly 23.8 uh, 23 million additional children now going to affect. That is another thing. So with the school closure, across 188 countries, nearly uh, across 188 countries, many of them are exploring alternative ways to provide continuous education. We know that they are giving the education through alternative ways. Uh, uh, you know that uh, using that internet access, uh, television and radio like that, there are some other ways. However, access to these uh, technology is limited. As I told before, that access is the problem. How many students are going to access? Even you see, if I take, uh, if you take India, so so India is the most populated world uh, country in this world. You know, how many children are able to get the technology access? As a small country, Sri Lanka, how many children are able to get the access, the internet technology access? This is one kind of problem that we are facing now. However, in what extent the education system around the world has been affected is based on the different aspects. Based on different aspects, the education uh, is facing the problems. So, which come under education such as uh, teaching, learning, and the school administration, especially, I can see. So, 
here my, I have uh, come up with that uh, as I told men, uh, as I mentioned before the management uh, school management right so recently I read uh, an information I have to mention that one also here according to uh, study uh, contacted by a group of educationists in the University of Cambridge 2021. It is mentioned that the current COVID-19 impact on education will last for some more years. So I don't know, you don't know what will happen in future with this current impact, but the uh, impact that we are uh, facing with in this pandemic time, it will last more than some more years. So I, they did not mention when it will last, uh, when it will end up, but they have mentioned it will last some more years. So we have, we as all, as we all are educators and parents, we have to uh, be ready to face this challenge. Uh, that is one information uh, I try to mention here. Then. Right now, I come come to my point that uh, my especially with my title that uh, school based management. You know what is a school based school based management? School based management is a concept that uh, the policy was introduced in seventies. Uh, especially, it is uh, it is uh, it focuses on uh, the decentralization of authorities among teachers and principal and parents how the authorities, the responsibilities are decentralized, right? That is the one main point of the school-based school management. Here I have uh, mentioned some explanation for school-based management. For example, I can uh, tell, uh, according to World Bank 2007, so it was mentioned that uh, school-based management, SPM, is an uh, organizational strategy to improve education by uh, transferring significant decision making authority from state and district offices to individual schools. How the uh, decision making access are transferred to among the schools from higher authority to uh, local schools. Then when this kind of uh, policy, how this kind of policy is facing challenge at the moment? We, you know, we, we should know about that. Now, it was introduced with the aim of the decentralization of authority among all the uh, educational sectors, even uh, schools, uh, from that from high authority to local schools. How, what kind of challenges that school-based management are facing now? Right. So if you take that school-based management, we can say that uh, school management, uh, there are four main models, right? You can see that first one, administrative control, professional control, and community control, and the balanced control. The, uh, based on these four models, the school-based management is being implemented by all the schools. And the schools are, uh, uh, being run by uh, with the with the activities of uh, with the, with the different activities based on these uh, four models, right? So I can explain these models one by one. Uh, first one, you, you see this uh, administrative control. What does it mean, administrative control? So in this model, school principal play a pivotal role in taking key decision in consultation with educational officers, sectional head, teachers, uh, students, parents, and past students. So that is uh, administrative control. This is uh, based on that uh, Philip Guerrero Osario Eto, 2009. Then that uh, uh, another concept, we can uh, I can explain and uh, administrative control model. This uh, this model aims to make each school more accountable to the central district uh, or broad office 
The benefits of this kind of uh, SPM include incre increasing the efficiency of expenditure on personnel and curriculum and making one person at each school more accountable to the uh, central authority. So what does it mean administrative control? Administrative control uh, tells about the principal uh, role in the schools. How this administrative control is affected by this uh, in this pandemic? Mainly, uh, I can talk about that uh, problems faced by principal, school principal, when they take their activities, uh, administrative country, uh, control activities. If I move to the second model, that professional control model, professional control model uh, mainly speaks about the teacher's role how teachers uh, function uh, in the schools and how they uh, they can develop themselves that means a professional development these are the things come under professional model you can read this so here it is mentioned that uh, the model encourages school professional even teachers and the principal to use their knowledge and skill in the development of various aspects in school level you know that various aspects mean mainly uh, focusing on the uh, learning of the students right so if i move the community control model as uh, model as parents as community what kind of role they have and what kind of challenges they are facing now whether the parents are able to communicate with the schools communicate with teachers, or even with principal. Now the parents are taking the role of teachers, even as the role of principals, because that's to all the students, even the children are the con under the control of parents. So what, what is the role of parents and the community? That is the main point of this uh, community control model. If I move to the balance control model, balance control model mainly speaks about the role of teachers and the parents, parents mean the community uh, in the school development, I mean in the school management process. So balance control model, in this model, uh, the principles they are the balance membership to all the authorities in school, such as uh, teachers, parents, government, and representatives, and even the, for the students. So here, we have to understand uh, these are the four models uh, administrative and uh, uh, community balance and uh, these are the four models right so what kind of challenges now the schools uh, are facing when they implement this uh, model but the main problems so now the uh, school based management is now not implemented uh, not implementing because we know all that all the schools are keep closed and the students are following their education the learning activities in, via online uh, via zoom some uh, different kind of technologies so at that in this condition what kind of strategies uh, teachers and parents and even school principal can use to enhance the knowledge of students in their teaching and learning process. In future, what in what ways they can uh, they can come up with some new ideas when they implement this uh, school-based management uh, ideas uh, effectively and efficiently. So that is very important. We know that uh, uh, you can see that. Uh, that uh, SVM entices many education managers and exper experts because it yields various uh, positive results such as. So in uh, education, in school-based management, so there are uh, various uh, results that uh, all the stakeholders are uh, receiving. For example, I can tell one, the one by one, there are four, uh, you can read it the four result main result that means positive results first one is improved academic performance of students second one teach the performance and uh, to, uh, to performance towards students learning and self development the third one community in the education of students the last one 
empowerment of the school local get among others here we know that already we we, we i told about that four models in uh, school based management with that four models these are the main four positive outcomes that me that I, i can say positive result so we can uh, reach when we implement the school based management effectively right we will see one by one what what in what extent uh, these uh, these four uh, outcomes are being implemented how what kind of challenges these four uh, outcomes are they are facing at the moment okay right the first one is the academic performance of students we all know that here we have to think very carefully now we are now we are we are just uh, talking about that uh, uh, online teaching and online learning that uh, teaching integra- technology integrated teaching and learning we all should know how many students are able to access that facility even uh, even you know that in some cities and some uh, villages the students are able to access the online teaching and learning process but still the students are facing problems in accessing that online uh, teaching and learning uh, in some part of the country even even african countries i had some of the webinars and uh, uh works so even they are facing a lot of problems uh in accessing the internet in accessing the technology that is one uh, main problem that uh, here the uh, you can uh, read one by one i can tell that biggest threat of covid-19 is uh, student dropouts uh, due to lack communication with teachers and no guidance in their learning you know that uh, the academic performance of students now is very poor so we are just making all the students uh, to uh, to go and uh, zoom and that uh, any kind of technology based uh, teaching learning process but they, they definitely that, that that is not up to level they are facing uh, problems almost we can measure that uh, that uh, with the number of students because some students are able to access their education with that kind of facility but some are still facing problem so, so that is one kind of problem that uh, nowadays we are facing right that what will happen the student dropouts will uh, increase in future now the dropouts rate is very high all over the world i have mentioned here i will mention that dropout rate and uh, if not if the condition uh, continues like uh, definitely that dropout rate, rate will increase the second point you can say the un says at least 24 million children are uh, projected to drop out of school due to covid 19 you see un according to un there are uh, estimated that 20 <coughs> sorry 20, 24 million additional children in future why they are unable to get uh, access they are still facing problem but uh, some students uh, with with the, with the mindset of some student we can uh, come to a decision that all students are okay that they can learn i am not against to the online education or the technology integrated education but i am telling the practical things because the that kind of things the students are facing even the higher educational institution the, the adult learners that uh, adult students are they are they also face some kind of problem when they face problems so how can we uh, measure that uh, school children are okay with that online kind of things the duties that is one point then according to unesco it is estimate that 23 23.8 million additional children and youth uh, from primary to tertiary level may drop out or not have access to school uh, next year due to the pandemic uh, economic impact alone this uh, because you know that pandemic uh, definitely will impact on economy the when it impacts on economy definitely 23.8 million additional children will uh, 
will drop out in uh, in uh, next two or three years according to the unesco statement right that the another point is i have mentioned online education affects student achievement not like previously happened you know that we all know that uh, the online education definitely i can say that affects the uh, achievement of the student you know, learners there are different kinds of learners we know uh, social learners and uh, visual learners auditory learners kinesthetic learners so when we when we focus on different kinds of learners well, how can we take all kind of learners into one technology device uh, that is uh, that is out of question definitely so definitely that uh, student achievement will be affected by this online education that that affect that student academic uh, that uh, academic uh, performance of the student so it affect if it, it directly affect that school based management right then the extra curricular activities we know that extra curricular activities is one of the main part of student learning so now that students are really out of ex extra curricular activity they are almost focused on the education uh, with the time limitation we are they are always using that zoom and like uh, some additional resource uh, technology devices they are focusing on the education in the learning only not any extra curricular activities not any other activities so <coughs> what i <coughs> uh, uh, specifically mention here the academic performance is very important part in school based management because of this covid 19 pandemic the academic performance of uh, students uh is very poor so as not previously they had some good performances uh in extra curricular activities in the achievement uh, like something but uh, now it's very poor but in future also it will affect on the future education level that definitely happens uh, not to, I'm, i'm not say i am not uh, sure about that but uh, according to the un or unesco uh, report right that uh, the second point is uh, right okay i have to mention this one also you know that uh, teaching and learning mainly they uh, depends on main two things first one is methodology that's uh, the second one is the approach you know methodology means how they are, how the teachers are going to teach how the students are going to learn the approach in what ways that mean how in the method how they are going to approach the method in teaching and learning so these two are very important in the success of teaching and learning so if i if you come to the teaching uh, learning in uh, using the technology integrated things how will it be successful so that is also uh, one question so that we have to ask ourselves so it will also affect that school based management uh, uh, in the aspect of uh, student uh, academic performance so if i move to the next point the second point teacher performance and development now you know that uh, all teachers uh, in some part of the countries okay uh, teachers are they are going to school they are uh, involving their activities even uh, yesterday not yesterday recently i had a webinar in uh, in south korea so south korean that school teachers and students are okay they are they i i i discuss about this covid uh, issues on education so they mentioned that uh, they are they are not fully okay but they have control as much as possible they have control the condition now they are uh, little by little they are uh, recovering to the uh, uh, normal condition that traditional way of teaching method uh, even with the technology integrated thing but now in in as asian countries we are facing so many challenges in malaysia all the school malaysia, in malaysia all the schools are keep closed and even uh, bhutan and nepal even india and sri lanka all the countries even african countries are also are, some countries are now they are recovering they are getting the normal condition nigeria all the schools are open now they are taking their learning and teaching activities but in african countries also there are some countries now the schools are keep closed right so when it uh, we know when all the schools are uh, uh, keep closed how that uh, teacher development and the performance will happen that is one thing 
you know that the impact of covid-19 crisis which has affected over 63 million teachers like 1.6 billion learners 63 million teachers uh, have 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 affected by this covid-19 you know score that that reports according to that you know score 2020 That, that now the teachers role have been changed you know that their role is different when they come to the traditional way of teaching and learning their role is uh, something various various activities with with extra curricular activities and with some learning and teaching practical kind of activities but now their role is only focusing uh, teaching via zoom or via any technology devices that is also one point Uh, in the uh, teacher performance and the development so you know that in brazil according to <laughs> the survey conducted by uh, institute uh, peninsula according that uh, one kind of uh, institution in brazil 83% of teachers did not consider being prepared to teach remotely and uh, 67% were anxious 38 felt tired and less than 10% were happy or satisfied world bank uh, that world bank block report 2021 only 10% of teachers are able to uh, teach uh, via online so other uh, others are some of them are uh, feel tired and uh, some of them are uh, not able to do that then some of them are anxious to teach via online so in this condition how the teachers will improve uh, they are will they will improve their performance and the development right technology has also enhanced uh, the great uh, teacher support adapting ex uh, existing uh, coaching program to be delivered remotely though the technology gives the access uh, with this point uh, access so teachers are still facing some Uh, challenges in the le teaching learning process that directly affects the uh, school based management uh, process uh, that is also right the, the last point is the teacher interaction along with the students has been reduced the teacher and the student interaction very important so without interaction how they can teach to the students only they are using as they are as they are they all are using the technology they just only hear the voice only not any face to face interaction so even if it is a blended or hybrid mode type of education it is okay uh, blended mode means a traditional way half and the online based education half they, they can manage but when when it is fully online that condition that no we are no that, that we are no having so definitely that may be a problem uh, uh, in the in the interaction of uh, teacher and student Right. So the performance of uh, teacher development and the teacher performance also is another affected uh, field uh, that area in the school based management. If I move to the community in the education of students and children, you know, if if I say that community means the parents, how parents take uh, involvement in the teaching and that means the students learning. So now the parents are teachers. So they are supporting in all the ways. You know, we have that kind of experience. We can't allow the student to learn themselves. They are not able to use that different kind of devices, even mobile phones, and even laptop or any other technology-related devices. So parents have to hide them. No, parents are taking that uh, uh, teacher role. So that's why I mentioned the role of parent is changed. earlier they just uh, they just uh, observe the uh, progress of the stu uh, students learning now they are they directly involved with the activity the teaching and learning activities of their students that community based learning faces challenges so many, there are so many challenges when without the interaction of teachers only via zoom or the technology related thing uh, how parents can involve in everything what kind of problem will student face uh, in future you know that it is very important that will be a question uh, that questionable matter that is 
that the another point is the parent involvement in the school activities are decreasing at most level no no that you know that parents are taking the involvement of the, in the students and teaching learning as a teacher role so they are not uh, related with the school uh, principal they are not contacting with them almost they are focusing on the students learning frequently they just ask the teachers and the student because they are not directly going to the school because of the all schools are closed that's why right. right the community uh, level that community support in the education also are facing different kind of uh, problems that final one i think that final one is the empowerment of the school heads that means the principal uh, role how the principal role is uh, facing the problem uh, in this pandemic time so we know that the school principal role uh, lag behind in school development the principal are the people uh, uh, they are the people uh, they have to take all the initiatives in the development of school but now they are out of school they are they are not related with any school development activities because schools are not open that is one thing so when it, that condition is uh, if it is continuously uh, goes like so what will happen the school development definitely will face some challenges that will affect the school based management that is one thing then the face uh, they face the principal principal face challenges in maintaining the teaching and learning activity no they have they are monitoring and observing all the zooms and the uh, technology integrated teaching learning process of teachers and students when they observe and monitor everything they face some challenges that they they are unable to uh, observe everything continuously uh, because it is not uh, in person things because it is it is happening via technology only that is another thing the relationship with the community is li limited you no know, parents and uh, principal school principal and other school officials uh, relationship are re limited the parents are not taking involvement with the school principal and the teachers directly they are just guiding the students and uh, via online only they have administrative challenges you know uh not all uh, yes i will tell that one also they have administrative challenges uh, when they uh, have that administrative kind of things in even in future they will definitely face some challenges because everything is now bounded with uh, online kind of stuff so when they go for a direct uh, administrative things and uh, uh, monitoring things uh, as already sir mentioned like uh, quality assurance and the evaluation process like some extra addition extra thing so they will face uh, challenges in the in, in when they evaluate it that is another point so what kind of uh, 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 remedies we can uh, suggest suggest for that uh, uh, that this kind of challenges in school based management yeah especially we can say the school man school management so briefly i can tell that uh, first uh, as we all education teachers we have to prepare the suitable uh, plan how can we implement the teaching and learning activities when we we have the pandemic even we ca we are not sure about that uh, already it is mentioned that it will last some more years that pandemic it is not going to be Uh, finished very soon so how we are going to uh, prepare the activities in future so with the proper preparation definitely the teaching and learning even the management uh, things uh, will be uh, will be fully developed in future with the preparation we have to cope uh, we have to cope uh, cope with the activities how we are going to managing it so how we are going to implement that is another point then uh, recovering the recovering means uh, with the implementation with the preparation and the you know, coping so how we are going to uh, get the advantages how, how we are going to uh, get the benefits from the activities that the parents and the, even not the, the, all the stakeholders who are involved in the teaching and learning process of uh, uh, 
uh, of students in students learning how they are going to manage it that is the three uh, process are very important in maintaining the school based management especially the po uh, positive outcome when it comes under uh, school based management the preparation and the coping and the recovery so these are the main uh, process that we can adapt in future even not only now even future also the all the school teachers as uh, and principal and even all the stakeholders in the school management system can uh, cover up so finally i uh, uh, like to wind up my uh, presentation this education cannot wait for any anyone so we have to follow that so with, in this pandemic situation also so even uh, so many deaths and uh, so many problems uh, all the people are facing even they are, in in that condition also they are doing their duty at, uh, at best level when the, all the principals and all the teachers around the world uh, even they are almost, they are i really have to appreciate the, their duties and their, their work they are encouraging the students they are they are making the students to uh, adapt with the technology that is one point so that is very imp important so with that uh, i would like to end up uh, wind up my presentation so what i plan to discuss today i explain briefly that uh, what kind of challenges in the school based school based ma management that we are facing due to this pandemic uh, in what kind of uh, uh, outcomes mainly the outcomes of uh, school based management uh, with the, in the outcomes what kind of challenges we are facing how we can uh, recover that okay thank you very much uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity thank you very much sir uh, sir there is a question okay uh, you can. can i read it for you sir shall i read now sir yes sir. okay what uh, it is from uh, jagdeep singh sir okay our best advice for principals to tackle the new leadership challenges during and after this demanding and chaotic circumstances caused by covid-19 pandemic okay uh, advices means so uh, you know that uh, there are different leadership styles for principals when they when they directly involved with the teaching learning activities not only teaching learning activities in the management process the under management process all the teaching and learning and the administrative task everything comes under that so uh, they have to be adapted with the things uh, even you know they can uh, uh, they can learn about that they can learn and they can implement the process and uh, when they face some uh, different challenges in future so they can uh, they can adapt with the situation uh, with some new ideas the ideas from where they can get it that is uh, definitely from the through their experience how they manage the situation previously and how they are going to face the challenges in future in futures and how they are going to uh, recover from that challenges uh, that based on uh, their uh, their uh, how can i say their effort and their uh, attempt that that's that, that's the thing i can uh, tell for, uh, the answer for that question yeah thank you sir uh, participants anyone would like to ask the question to sir you may ask or you can give it in the chat box please sir excuse me oh uh, tell me from... yeah oh tell uh, me madam okay somehow we are uh, managing the pandemic situation by technology ict yes madam yes uh, schools and daily days days are moving uh, yes. teachers are thinking that we are teaching and students mm. are thinking that yes, we are, they are learning, learning. They are learning. Yes. Uh, what would be the effect of literally after completion of a degree or after completion of a school or mm. uh, yeah, whatever it may be the learning uh, it, it would be different uh, experience for the students definitely mm. so what would be the impact for them anybody has studied for that 
uh, i want to know uh, the real impact over the students yes uh, there are two things uh, ma'am uh, you know that i am not against to, to this online teaching stuff because i also uh, teaching to the students via online uh, my university is fully online as open university of sri lanka we are conducting all the courses and we are offering the courses to all the students even the foreign students also via online but uh, the thing i have to mention here students are learning so they are adapted with the technology integrated things but when they leave from the traditional way of uh, things uh, totally that will affect uh, some kind of achievement some kind of performance development among them for example as i mentioned the, the main purpose of education is uh, to practice uh, through practice only we can uh, learn everything as mentioned uh, swami vivekananda practice makes a person perfect so without practice only we are doing this online uh, related things we don't we, we are not practicing anything just we are breaking the rooms and they, we are giving the activities they are doing the activities without seeing their uh, face on even the face also but definitely that will affect uh, their practical things when they come out outside they they won't be able to do something practically now we can see the, in the social media the, the some of them are sharing the things the, how the engineer will build the house if, if he or she uh, will follow the course uh, completely online how the doctor will be in future will he or uh, she will follow the course completely via yeah, online yeah, true, so, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so the practical things will be lost Uh, thank you sir yeah exactly sir what you said is correct only yes, yeah mm -hmm. to some extent this helps a lot i love that yes, definitely that yes. we can we can leave from that uh, in, uh, technology integrated things also that's why we, we, <laughs> i like to that uh, hybrid or blended mode uh, education system mm -hmm. is okay when mm -hmm. they have some kind of problems then when they face the problems they can follow that blended mode or hybrid mode but uh, in some other but countries the, the situation is very bad no because yes, uh, this is life or death period yes. period now the learning the new technology is also yes. another burden for the students yes, so in that yes. angle uh, i feel mm. that, yes sir. today also you. yes very very pathetic situation there are some online uh, that internet hackers and the internet uh, cyber crime activities are also taking place even that even in this condition the telecommunication people are also learning a lot they are charging more for the zoom access for the data access for the things so this kind of things also happening now yeah this is a new experience for uh, each and every person yes yeah. yes thank you sir thank you so uh, one more question from john okay. in light of covid 19 challenge many okay. education systems are reverting to blended learning mm. however in low income countries there is a challenge of internet connectivity can the president respond to this issue and propose the way forward yes uh, definitely that is one good question because i also have that a kind of experience uh, uh, there was a conference in kenya they i asked them for a blended that online based uh, uh, online based access for me so they definitely uh, that some uh, they they were they they are not able to continue that because of the access so they are facing some not only uh, african countries even some asian countries also we are facing access in the uh, online system so my idea is that the blended system is okay so that means blend in blended system the hybrid system is okay if they want To, they can uh, come and uh, face to face they can learn they can continue their activity if they can't they can uh, do it via online being at home that is hybrid type of mode that is okay but uh, in future definitely the education will uh, education system the whole education system will be uh, will be on the blended mode not fully traditional not not fully uh, online that will be a traditional way of mode Thank you.
uh, sorry yes me yeah, another one uh, one point i would like to convey uh, okay. you said the parent involvement has been reduced in the case oh. of only in teaching and all mm. but i am not uh, sure sir because and uh, now the now the parents are looking at the quality yes, of teaching yes, uh, the teachers yes, they yes. are monitoring they are seeing the teachers mm. teaching the, their their mm. children and also yes. uh, they are very happy that uh, we are taking much care about their yes. children yes, yes, yes. Oh, so yes. their involvement uh, uh, has been increased i can say sir i can yes, say yes, with my comes, personal experience yes. Yes, mm. yes, ma'am. As we are a parent, I know that when it comes to the teaching, learning, it is okay. The parents are observing and doing everything. But uh, what I mentioned, what I mentioned, uh, when it comes as a management, managerial things. Now we can't do anything with the management because all the schools are uh, keep uh, closed, closed. So when when they. Uh, come up with some uh, management related ideas in future they will face some challenges because almost they all the parents are uh, adapted with the online teaching stuffs and the things so that will be an issue for the education system in future but uh, for the students we conducted entrepreneurial training and all oh, so i asked the parents also to attend if you one of your brothers are not uh, having any job and all ask them oh. to join so in that mm. case uh, it helps them a lot uh, that is my personal experience oh. yes ma'am mm. that means i mentioned that uh, parents involvement is not low the parents involvement in certain kind of things uh, will be low in future they will face challenges in future yeah yeah definitely definitely yes. i agree with you <laughs> thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am yeah thank you very much sir so uh, sir uh, i think john sir has one more question actually he is from kenya the okay. place we have quoted the example of your own personal experience so he would like to ask one more question how shall we safeguard examination quality administered through the online based delivery please comment on this yes uh, in when we come up with the online education things that is the main issue when we conduct the examination and the assessment activities so how it is going to be effective and how the examination will be we can just teach to the students we can uh, teach them we can make them in learning and teaching activities but when it comes uh, assessment process that may be a problem but anyway there are some uh, applications uh, in online some softwares so we can use that softwares and application for the examination activities and the assessment process so though we use we use that kind of things so that is uh, not up to level as like as like we have the traditional way of the traditional way. thank you sir uh, so uh, we would like to thank you for your uh, patient answering the questions and then uh, i would like to thank you for the concept that you have uh, delivered on the school based management education uh, during the amid uh, post and uh, pre during covid 19 pandemic that is school management amid and after covid 19 pandemic where you have uh, proposed the four models of uh, the school based management system which includes administrative control professional control community control and balanced control where all the stakeholders will be getting connected both internal and external members of the school management for the enrichment of the knowledge of students and what kind of problems are we facing in the implementation of school based management system during this covid and even you have uh, suggested the remedies like how to prepare cope and recover so that uh, because we cannot stop the education how to make ourselves move ahead so that uh, we'll have a brighter next generation thank you very much sir it showed really the expertise that you have in educational management online teaching learning the special need education and the child rights and the research uh, examples that you have quoted really has given the witness of what is being faced by the students the parents the school and the college managements these days during the covid it has given a very good insight into you sir thank you yes. very much sir 
i also thank you for this kind of opportunity thanks a lot for the all the organizers and all the participants all the resources speakers thank you madam